The use and sale of alcohol has always been a point of contention in the United States. Who were those who were opposed to the sale of alcohol? What were their primary arguments? Throughout the 1800s, the opposition to alcohol was known as the temperance movement. In the United States, the temperance movement can find its origins with the well-known physician Benjamin Rush, who preached about the importance of moderating alcoholic intake. His message led to the formation of a temperance society in Connecticut, made up of more than 200 farmers. Before long, there were temperance societies in other states as well. In 1826, the American Temperance Society was formed. By 1835, this group had 1.5 million members nationwide. The movement continued to gain momentum throughout the 1840s and 1850s. However, it all but disappeared during the 1860s due to the Civil War. The entire nation's attention was focused on the war effort, and causes such as the temperance movement and the women's suffrage movement were temporarily placed on hold. After the war, the temperance movement was revived with the creation of the Prohibition Party in 1869 and the Women's Christian Temperance Union in 1873. These organizations became the leading groups which denounced the use and sale of alcohol. As the 1800s progressed, the movement began to experience some success. In 1881, Kansas became the first state to outlaw the sale and consumption of alcohol. Carrie A. Nation became a visible leader of the temperance movement because of her aggressive method of enforcing Kansas's alcohol ban. She would enter saloons, verbally berate the customers, and then use a hatchet to destroy all of the bottles of liquor in the establishment. Other states began to follow Kansas's lead. In some cases, individual towns or counties would illegalize alcoholic beverages, rather than an entire state. By 1900, the temperance movement had become a major factor in local and state politics. The entire nation seemed to be divided between wet and dry. The wets supported the sale and consumption of alcohol. The dries were opposed. The dries were largely made up of Protestant Christian groups such as Methodist, Baptist, and Presbyterians. The wets consisted of Catholics, as well as many others who felt that the government should not attempt to dictate morality to its people. The dry arguments against alcohol included how damaging it could be towards families. They pointed out that things such as physical abuse, poor health, and poverty could all be caused by the overconsumption of alcohol. To get their message out, temperance groups produced a number of pamphlets which promoted their agenda. Some were scientific in nature and included facts and statistics supporting their argument. Other pamphlets were religious in nature, quoting scripture from the Bible. They also utilized the school system, teaching temperance at a young age and indoctrinating children into the dry philosophy. Strangely enough, the issue of prohibiting alcohol was rarely mentioned in national politics. The reason for this was because there were many wets and dries in both of the two main political parties. However, by 1917, there were 278 members of Congress who supported the dry agenda, compared to only 126 congressmen who claimed to be wets. In December of 1917, a resolution was passed in the House of Representatives calling for a constitutional amendment. This amendment, if passed, would prohibit the manufacture, sale, and transportation of intoxicating liquors within the United States. This amendment was approved by both houses of Congress and passed on to the states to be ratified. Mississippi became the first state to ratify the amendment on January 8, 1919. 36 states were needed to ratify the amendment. This number was achieved just eight days later on January 16, 1919 making it the 18th Amendment to the United States Constitution. By January 29th, 44 states had approved the amendment. The 18th Amendment was to be enacted one year from the date of ratification. Therefore, on January 16th, 1920, nationwide prohibition went into effect and the entire country became dry.